We've talked about Star Wars in the classroom. We've talked about Star Wars in the movie theater. We've talked about Star Wars in the toy room. And today we're going to talk about Star Wars in your bathroom. Welcome back to the Junk Room, everybody. It's me, the Junk Man, coming back at you with a whole new video. That's right, a new video to talk about old stuff. And that's what we talk about the most here, old stuff. And you seem to enjoy it. And I seem to enjoy talking about it. Let's see where's, where's the best place to put this. So what are we going to talk about today? Star Wars in the bathroom. The vintage years. The vintage years. Vintage, vintage years. I need to say vintage. Vintage. Because I use like vintage. Vintage years. I need to talk more proper. And now, we're going to talk about Star Wars in the bathroom. Okay, I can't do the whole video like that. Uh, what we're going to look at, we're going to look at some items that were made for the Star Wars bathroom. Soap, shampoo, dish towel, not dish towel, hand towels, towels to wipe your body with, all kinds of things. Now, as always, I'd like to support this channel, Patreon, YouTube member, all that exclusive content, commentary we just did, and more blah, 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 you know all that, buy a t-shirt like this one right here. Now we got that out of the way. Now we can talk about Star Wars in the bathroom. I mean, we all like Star Wars in the living room. We all like Star Wars in our bedroom. But if you grew up with the original Star Wars, hell, you might have it today too. You had Star Wars in your bathroom. And if you like this series, maybe we'll look at some more crazy places you could put Star Wars. So let's just get right to it and look at the first one on my... Hold on, I gotta check my notes again. I know, I'm not very professional. Sorry about that. As another YouTuber told me, I'm not professional. That's okay. We don't all have to be professional. Sometimes we can just be fun. So let's look at this one for the boys. I know, I don't supposed to say, that's for boys, that's for girls. Well, I'm sorry, I'm gonna say it. This is a little poncho or a little bag you could actually hook to your belt. It had a belt loops in it. I don't know who wears a belt in the shower, but hey, I've seen some strange things. I mean, my cousin Leroy, he wore penny loafers in the shower. Penny loafers in the shower. Penny loafers. So check this out. The Luke Skywalker belt kit with belt loops so you could attach it to your belt. Maybe it was to wear after the bath. But who has belt loops on their pajamas? It came with soap of the Luke Skywalker in his palette outfit and his orange. It also came with bubble bath, shampoo, and an orange comb. A comb that matches your soap. Now don't worry, there was something just like this before the girls. Here it is. This one doesn't have a place to hook to your belt, but it does come with a nice little handle. It comes with soap, shampoo, cream rinse, cologne splash, and a red comb. I don't know what half of that stuff is. What is what is cream rinse? Oh, yeah. When I used to spend night in my uncle's house and I have a bath, he'd come in and give me a cream rinse. I've never seen it in a bottle. Oh. Let's go on. Uh, oh, how about a Darth Vader? That's also kind of like an action figure. Okay. Maybe if an action figure was boring and didn't do anything but just stand there. I guess more of a statue. But check out this bubble bath, Darth Vader. It is a kind of odd looking Darth Vader, but it's not just a figure. It's also a bubble bath. Pop open that head, pour it into the water, stir it around, and you have Darth Vader bubble bath. Sadly, it's not black. It would be cool if it was black bubble bath, but it's not. And this looks like some kind of generic unlicensed toy, but no, it's official. Now, we're not looking at everything that they made for the bathroom. This is kind of a best of. But they did a set of a different bubble bath. That, well, I guess it says galactic bubbles. So I guess that's not, it's galactic bubbles, not bubble bath. Although it says both. But these were, uh, the picture looks like a paint can, but I think it's more like a tube. Uh, for bubble bath, you had 3PO, you had, well, let's just take a look at each one. You had 3PO, as you can see right here, and then you had the mighty Chewbacca. That's right, Chewbacca. And 3PO's best friend, R2-D2. 
And look, R2's begging for the third legging. And you had the evil of all evils, Darth Vader. There was another one that was kind of in a wacky tube also. And I remember my friend, um, Justin, had a Obi-Wan Kenobi one. His, his sister loved it. I, I mean, i never seen no one go to the bathroom so much with bubble bath. Her hands must have been so pruned as much she loved to take a bubble bath. And here it is. It's like a sticker on the tube, and it says Obi-Wan Kenobi. It even has a TM next to it, so you'll know it's trademark, so don't be trying to copy that name. Now let's jump way up into the future to Return of the Jedi. Now, I guess this one technically could be in your pocket instead of just in your bathroom, but we're going to take a look at it anyway. We're talking Return of the Jedi comb. First, let's look at the Darth Vader. The Darth Vader pop-up comb shows anyone in the world, hey, I love Star Wars, and hey, I'm super cool. And check out this one. This one here might be the first official merchandise of Slave Leia. Not counting something like a trading card, but something merchandise, something made with Slave Leia on it. But back then, we never called it Slave Leia. I never heard that term until the late 90s. I need to look into why we started calling it Slave Leia. But this was probably Leia and her prisoner outfit, or Turn of the Jedi Leia. Check it out. It's also a pop-up comb. And somebody bought it at Fashion Plus for three dollars. But as you can see, it has Leia looking very sultry on the front or bottom of the comb. I, I guess that's the bottom, front, I don't know. But anyway, it pops up and it's a comb inside. Now let's go back to looking at soap. Now I don't know about you, but if I'm going to use soap, it has to be 110 grams. I will not use 109 grams soap. I mean, who would take a bath with 109 grams of soap? And don't even try, don't even try to give me 111 grams of soap. Oh, you can feel that soap on you all day. Well, here's the 110 gram Darth Vader. This black bar of soap is Darth Vader. I don't know, something about watching your body with a black piece of soap just doesn't seem like it's going to get you too clean. But if you don't like black, you can get a green bar of soap, also 110 grams, of Yoda. But let's say you're a twin, like Luke Skywalker and Princess Leia. Yeah, they're twins. What if you had a twin? What if it was Tracy and Stacy, and they both wanted to take a bath together? Well, you could with this bar of soap that was a good guy and a bad guy. It's the character soap that's used to help clean up the Empire. You can be Luke Skywalker, while your twin brother or sister could be Darth Vader. And look, it was only 99 cents. Well, 99p, whatever a p is. Now, some kids just don't want to take a bath. And you're like, I'm trying to play with my Star Wars figures. And your mom keeps yelling, Junk kid, it's time for a bath. Oh, mom. And, of course, if you're lucky, you got to take your Star Wars toys into the tub with you. That was always a good fun. Why would you take something that, like the R2? Don't bring your R2 in the tub or the sticker's going to come off and get ruined. But let's say you were just one of those kids that love to take a bath. And you went through these bar soaps really fast. Well, don't worry. You could have got the four-pack. You have what I'm told is Princess Leia, an orange Luke Skywalker in his orange X-Wing outfit, a green bar of Yoda soap, and Chewbacca. Why didn't they make Han Solo and Carbonite soap? That just seems so perfect. Now that is... It's running cold! Now probably the most famous thing to be found Star Wars related in the bathroom was the electric toothbrush by Kenner. That's right, Kenner didn't just make toys, they made toothbrushes. Of course, at first they made a $6 million man toothbrush, and they repackaged it as a Star Wars toothbrush. Let's take a look. Man, that kid sure does look happy. But then again, wouldn't you look happy if you were using an electronic toothbrush on your teeth that looked kind of like the handle from a lightsaber? I know I would. I always wanted this thing as a kid, and I never did get it. And look, it only cost $5.99 at Melvin's. On the back of it, it actually had a cartoon that you could read. Click, click, clock, clock. That looks entertaining. It was also released as part of the Empire Strikes Back line, but that one's hard to find. But the most disappointing is when JCPenney's got the exclusive rights to bring it over to the Return of the Jedi line. As you can see, it looks about the same loose, but with a different sticker at the bottom. And the back of it, same one with the click, click cartoon. Good luck finding that one. Now, there was one thing the dentist loved to give you, and you could take it home, put it in your bathroom, and that's when the dentist gave you oral. Oral B, that is. Toothbrushes. I remember getting one of these when I was in um, 83. When I was at the dentist, I remember getting some of these. 
Never got a good one. I think I got an Ewok one, and I think I might have got the Luke one, so I might have got one okay. But check out these toothbrushes. You can buy them at the store, or your dentist will give them to you. Check them out. The Oral-B Star Wars toothbrushes. My favorite out of this set has to be the one at the end. Looking like old friends at their 80th high school reunion. Now you got in the bath. You washed your body with Star Wars soap, and now it's time to get out. But your body's all wet. What do you do? Well, you have to reach for your Star Wars towel. You had to have a Star Wars towel. I mean, if you got the toothbrush, you got a Star Wars comb, you got Star Wars shampoo, you got Star Wars soap. You have to have a towel, right? Let's check a let's take a look at a couple. Here's one from Star Wars with the droids, R2D2, 3PO, Luke, Leia. Even has Darth Vader and Chewbacca, along with Han Solo and some other characters. This one here has the poster look and R2 and 3PO. Jumping over to Empire Strikes Back, this one's got Boba Fett on it, so you know I like it. And it's got Han with some kind of rifle gun I've never seen. And Luke in his halt gear. Princess Leia looks like she's still dressed for the first movie. Chewbacca's laying on the ground for some reason. And R2's got the wrong kind of paint. And 3PO's arm looks really, really long. And another one has Boa Fett on it also, but it also has some snow speeders. A Darth Vader with a big glowing light in his hand. I guess that's supposed to be a lightsaber. And we have this one from Return of the Jedi. We get it. Ewoks. Gee, did they have to put Ewoks on every damn thing? And here's a... Oh, wait a minute. This isn't a towel to wash off with. This is a beach towel. We have to save this for a beach video. You wash with your soap. You shampooed your hair. You dry it off with your towel. Now... You need Star Wars hand towels. And here's one with Darth Vader, 3 people, and R2. And I know it's them because it's written on the towel. I like this one here with Darth Vader shaking his fist at an X-Wing fighter. And then for Empire Strikes Back, yep, believe it or not, that's Boba Fett. And look, 1979. So you dried your hands, you dried your ass, you washed your hair. Now what do you need? Star Wars washcloth. Be honest with you, I don't know what the difference between a hand towel and a washcloth is. I mean, I guess, I don't, I, I mean, I've used a towel and a washcloth, but as far as I know, I've never had needed a hand towel. I guess it's somewhere between a washcloth, is small, and the long towel. That's a little too fancy for me. But let's look at some washcloths. Here's a blue Darth Vader with some ships flying behind him. And here's 3 Pooh and R2 on some Star Wars merchandise. They were the Ewok of the original film. Jumping over to The Empire Strikes Back, we got Darth Vader with a yellow flashlight, and look, Boba Fett. And if you are a fan of the Tauntauns, here's Luke Skywalker. And there was a Return of the Jedi washcloth also. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but it seems like the Return of the Jedi merchandise, not just in the bathroom, but in general, seemed to get a little bit boring. Seems for Return of the Jedi, there just wasn't a lot of love put in or thought behind. Just slap something on it that's Star Wars related, and they'll buy it. But here we have Luke Skywalker with his green lightsaber, Leia and her green poncho, and I guess that's supposed to be Han Solo. Maybe it's his stunt double. And that's a look at the best of, or, and that's a look at some Star Wars items you would find in your bathroom as a kid. Did you have any of these? Come on, you know you did. Did you have the electric toothbrush? <sighs> I remember I had this friend, well, not I had this guy at school. I wouldn't call him a friend, but, uh, he was in the same class with me. We didn't really get along all that well, but he had that toothbrush and he brought it to school for show and tell one day. Oh, so angry. I wanted that toothbrush. I never even seen it at the store. I never even, I just saw, I think I saw it in one of the Kenner catalogs, but I never actually saw it or knew. He was the only person I knew with it. He wasn't even that much of a Star Wars fan. Come on, Grady. Why didn't you give it to me? Anyway, let me know. Did you have any of these bathroom items or maybe one I didn't talk about? Let me know below in the comments. And as always, please subscribe to the channel so you like my content. Thumb ups. Let me start all over. And as always, subscribe to the channel. Thumb ups. So I know you like my content. And we'll talk again soon. Junk man. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs>